The following portion of Daytime Blue Ridge is sponsored by... There's nothing better than owning a pet, but with that comes major responsibility. Here in Virginia, new laws went into effect just this month, and many of them have to do with your four-legged friends. Here to break down some of the important animal-related laws that you need to know if you own a dog or cat is Dr. Courtney Wiegarch from the Vinton Veterinary Hospital. Welcome. Always great to Hello. see you. Yes. And of course, you brought a friend with you. I did. Tell this me about Dee Dee. Dee Dee is a year old. We think she's a shepherd mix. She's got a beautiful brindle coat. Mm -hmm. um, she's been returned to the shelter, unfortunately, because the owner was the new owner was very very allergic Aww. she's a sweetheart she's been spayed uh, she's great with children she's girl, loves other dogs she has a lot of puppies still left in her Aww. so and you'll, and she wants you'll to go <laughs> <laughs> Courtney's trying, um, trying to hold on really sweet full of kisses so okay she, well, she there is you available go. at Franklin County Humane there you go Dee Dee you're so sweet <laughs> all right well let's talk about some of these laws because your husband Spencer really is a, a local attorney yes. and said this is probably a good topic to talk about right now exactly okay so let's talk about what is the leash law for Roanoke right now? So Roanoke City is a, is a leash. You have to have your own dog on a leash. Mm -hmm. um, so, but it's different in every municipality. So, it just depends on where you live. Make sure you check locally. Roanoke County has a leash law, but there's some other areas where you don't have to have a leash. So, be good to know, you know, where you can and cannot yeah. have a leash. So Absolutely. definitely check that out on the website of your municipality. Yeah, this is interesting. Who is legally allowed to break into a motor vehicle to rescue a pet in a hot car? Yes, I found this I, very interesting. You mm -hmm. know, people think being a good Samaritan, they can just break into someone else's car. Absolutely not. If you see oh. an animal in distress in a hot car, you have to call the authorities. So it has to be a police officer, an animal control officer, or firefighter wow. who breaks into a car. But definitely call. They're usually there responding very, very quickly. But um, you are not allowed as a citizen okay. to break into that car. <laughs> don't know. do it. <laughs> yeah, don't do it. All right, Dee Dee. Oh, just a couple minutes. All right. Do you need a business license to breed dogs? If you are selling dogs or selling cats as a business, you mm -hmm. have to have a business license. Okay. And there are a slew of requirements to get that license. I was amazed. It's too long, too many to list mm -hmm. on the show. But I don't think people are aware that in order to sell as a breeder, and you're selling a large quantity of these puppies and kittens, yeah. you have to be licensed. All right, so check that out. All right, which of my pets needs to be currently vaccinated for rabies? And if I have an indoor cat, does that have to be? Everybody. Really? So by law, you have uh -huh. to have a current rabies license. If something happens and your pet bites another per a child, another person, or another animal, and they're oh, not currently Gigi, vaccinated, I we're, we're I looking at you girl. too, I promise. Um, <laughs> they, there are some pretty nasty consequences. It really? would involve quarantine of your pet for 10 days. Um, it could involve uh, surrender of your pet. Um, I mean, you could get into a lot of trouble. Wow. So. <laughs> okay, and then now, <laughs> looking at TV, um, can I legally take my dog into a brewery? You can. Sweet. This is great. Just came into effect uh, July 1. As long as you're not back in the area where they're manufacturing the wine, the, the beer, or any of the food to be sold, you can take your dog into a brewery as long as it's okay with the owners. I love that. And real quick, most important law, severe animal cruelty is now a felony. It is a felony. If you severely abuse, neglect a dog, or mm -hmm. um, cause death to an animal, it is a felony. And also the new tether law. So if you cannot tether your animal for more than three hours, mm -hmm. not um, after 10 p.m. or before 6 a.m., just don't tie your dog up. Okay. Basically. Good advice.